Okay, hi there. Welcome to the next video in our series of videos looking at the balance of payments. And in particular, we've been focusing on the current account deficit. In the last video, we thought about some of the causes of a deficit. And I just wanted to take you through in this video three examples of a chains of reasoning you might employ. Here's the first question. Explain how an economic boom can cause an external deficit. Important to define a term. An economic boom is when the demand in the economy Real incomes, national output are all going up at above trend rates. And one impact of this is often a rise in consumer spending for goods and services, particularly those products that have a high income elasticity of demand. Luxury products, uh, new TV screens, new cars, etc. Now, a large percentage of so-called consumer durables such as a new car, they tend to be imported. That's particularly the case in the UK. Thus, a rising consumer spending and an associated fall in household saving, by the way, can cause the volume of imports to grow quite quickly. And if the domestic economy is also booming, there might be limited spare capacity in the economy and in export industries in particular. Therefore, during a boom, uh, it's the surge in imports and a possible slowdown in exports that can lead to a widening of a country's trade deficit on the current account. Here's my second chain of reasoning. Explain how a strong currency can cause an external deficit. Define your terms. When a currency appreciates, the foreign price of a country's exports tends to go up. For example, the price of US, uh, UK exports priced in euros or dollars, that goes up. And this can then lead to exports becoming less price competitive overseas. Now, the key thing is that if exports become more expensive in overseas markets, this uh, leads to or causes a substitution effect leading to weaker export demand. Fall in export demand can then lead to or cause a higher trade deficit since net trade is X minus M. The second impact of a strong currency is it tends to lead to a fall in the price of imported products, such as finished manufactured goods. And this might cause domestic consumers to switch their demand and their spending towards goods and services that, that have been produced overseas. So therefore, a rise in spending on imports, other things being the same, Ceteris Paribus, will lead to an increased trade deficit, particularly if demand for imports has a high coefficient of price elasticity of demand. If the price of imports goes down and imports are price sensitive, then we'll see quite a big increase in demand for imports. So a strong currency can, in theory, lead to a widening of the trade deficit. And the last one, the third one in this video, let's think about a little bit about supply side economics. Explain how low productivity, low productivity can cause an external deficit. Again, define those terms. If there's a key term in a question, define a term. Labour productivity measures output per person hour worked or the value of output per person employed. Relatively low productivity means that the efficiency, for example, in the UK is below that of our major trading nations, such as Germany, perhaps, or the United States. If labour productivity is low, then, and this is crucial, for a given level of wages, the unit labour cost of production will be higher. Low productivity for given wages will in drive up the unit labour cost. And as a result, exporting firms with low productivity may find they may find themselves at a price and cost disadvantage in overseas markets. And that can cause a slowdown in export sales as foreign consumers search for relatively cheaper substitutes. Uh, so exports may take a dip and it might also cause a rise in import penetration into the into the domestic economy uh, because imports may appear relatively cheaper uh, and therefore consumers prefer to buy cheaper goods and services as a whole. So low, relatively low labour productivity can again cause that expenditure switching effect, which in theory can lead to uh, an increase in the trade deficit. What we're going to move on to in the next little set of videos is how can governments try to reduce or correct uh, an external trade deficit.